operate Smoky Mountain Railroad running right on the side of the Nantahala Outdoor Center. So this is a canoe slalom, obviously by the sign. They do a lot of uh, white water rafting and canoeing and kayaking here at the Nantahela Outdoor Center, um, <clears throat> along with a couple of restaurants they have. Anyway, I'm heading up to my room so I can uh, do my laundry and get dried out. So these steps I'm going to show you actually cross. They lead me across the uh, train tracks. And as you can see, the uh, crossing guard is. Anyway, long story short, this is where the Greater Smoky Mountain Railway passes, and it does make a stop here at the NOC. So this is the dogwood cabins. I'll show you around a little bit. I got a little sink, double bed, bunk, all to myself. A little desk, TV. I even have a little porch. And let's see, there's a path right there, if you can see through the trees, um, that actually connects to the AT. So when I leave in the morning, I just gotta go down the hill, grab the trail, and keep on trucking. Anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to do laundry and do the chores stuff. And we will see you tomorrow. So, here we are. Good morning. Still raining out. It's supposed to break. Rain's supposed to break in the next couple hours. Um, it is going to be somewhat of a uh, rough day. Uh, eight miles uphill for the morning. That's the start. Eight miles uphill out of the NOC. So this ought to be interesting. Anyway, got some low hanging clouds, fog if you will. Um, and we're on the move. So I'll show you some trail when I get the chance and it's not raining too much. Anyway, see you later. Hey, clouds are starting to part. But uh, yeah, we're fixing to get the crap that passed through Louisiana here in the next few hours. So it looks like we'll be riding the storm out in a shelter. Anyway, we'll update, update you more with that a little later. On we go. So here we are the sassafras shelter or sassafras gap shelter and we're gonna try to ride that storm out here because judging by the weather maps it's coming in a little quicker than we had it than what was originally anticipated and our next shelter is not for another eight or so miles so and we've been doing eight mile we've done eight miles uphill all day long so yep that's the plan we're gonna ride it out here and then just uh once the major thunderstorms and whatnot pass overnight uh, we'll get back out tomorrow probably in some lighter rain but 
it is what it is so that is the day for today it's a wrap and hopefully these storms kind of fizzle out before they get here but we shall see anyway see y'all later We're getting a late start, obviously, because of the weather, but uh, it's cold, it's raining, and there are some spotty thunder showers still lingering around. We're going to push for a pretty big day today and, and uh, try to get into Fontana Dam for Friday. So, uh, anyway. I don't know how much filming I'll get done today because of the weather, but we're gonna make do with what we got because we gotta put some miles in. See y'all later. Been at it for a couple of hours now and the rain is starting to finally kind of break. You can see off in the distance. Still got some low hanging clouds, a few drizzling showers here and there and the trail is uh, pretty muddy. And my feet are pretty wet, but uh, <clears throat> I'm staying warm by moving. And this jacket, the way I'm layered uh, is keeping my core warm. And I say warm, it's warm because I'm wet. I mean, it's cold because I'm wet, but uh, temperature right now is in the mid 50s, I believe. Somewhere around there, I think 57. So we're moving we're making progress it's a nasty day but uh you know as much as i don't like the saying i gotta say it no rain no pain no main so we just gotta endure what comes our way weather wise and terrain wise and make tracks and that's what we're doing we'll see you later So we waited the thunderstorm out in that shelter. That shelter was, uh, oof, I'm gonna forget the name of it. But anyway, coming out of Stokoa Gap was Jacob's Ladder. That was just, oof, that was brutal. It was a brutal climb. It was uh, more than a 45 degree angle, a lot of steps. Um, anyway, so, Thunderstorm pass we bail, I bailed out of that shelter and I'm trying to uh, at least get about three more miles in to get to uh, I think it's Cody Gap where I'll tent for the night because I don't think I'm gonna make the extra three miles to the next shelter 
which was the original plan, which will put us at about seven miles to Fontana Dam. Regardless, either way, I will be in Fontana Dam tomorrow. The wind is howling and it's still, still raining a little bit. It's just insane. Anyway, let me get to get, get to making tracks. We'll see y'all later. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? I got some puppers that found me on the mountain. They've been uh, tagging along with me for the last two miles. So, I don't know. They got radio collars. I guess their owner knows where they're at. Anyway, on we go. So when you got wet clothes and it's raining out, you try your best to do hiker laundry. Hopefully the wind is gonna do its thing and dry it up. It's been a sloggy, wet day. And it slowed our progress down, but we'll be in Fontana Dam tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to get some laundry done and some resupply and all the good stuff that we need to get done. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Good morning, sun's shining. It's cold, it's windy. Everything's still damp, muddy. It pretty much sucks, but you know what? We're making tracks, we're moving forward and we're gonna be in Fontana Dam today pretty big accomplishment and uh, within a day or two we'll be in the Smoky Mountains uh, we got Trail Angel coming taking care of us today so that's gonna be a big plus and we'll make the decision later if we're gonna get back on trail tomorrow or just uh, try to clean up all our gear and take a zero I don't know we'll decide later but anyway we're on the move. Oh my, what do we have here? Ooh, the dam is close. On we go. And when I say close, about another four miles. So, still making our way towards Fontana Dam. Um, a lot of people have uh, talked about certain YouTubers making everything look easy on the AT. But uh, I've been trying to show how bad some of these inclines are. But the trail now, it's gonna wind up 
going up and this is about uh, about a 30 35 degree incline but it's going to end up at the top of that hill up there and that's i'm not i'm sorry it's not a very far distance so it's going to be a hell of a slog getting up this hill in a timely manner so anyway i guess the premise of this clip is uh just because you're watching hiking on YouTube does not mean that it's easy because a lot of this is definitely not. Um, so do your training, do your research, get out and do some practice hikes because uh, this is definitely, definitely a physically cha challenging trail. I'll get the words out. Anyway, see y'all in a bit. Well, damn. It's a dam. We'll get uh, up close and personal with that thing a little later. But uh, if you've never read about that dam, um, I think it's the Tennessee River Valley Authority. It's very interesting. You need to look it up. Because below those waters, there are several communities and towns that were flooded out and people forced out of their homes. Very interesting story and there's actually a museum down there and i'm hoping i'm gonna have enough time to uh pay a little visit and learn a little more so we made it up that hill now we're on the back side so we're going down and a lot of times the down can be just as brutal as the up anyway on we go Trail maintainers have jokes. Well, it ain't one thing, it's another. leading or hail hail no it's tiny whatever it is but still anyway we're still making our descent into Fontana I think I'm gonna take a little cover underneath these trees for a minute hopefully this is gonna blow by pretty quick <laughs> 